So George, as a birder myself, I'm, I'm interested to, to know in all of your years of experience birding in some of the most incredible destinations in the world, is there any particular bird encounter during those trips that stands out in your memory? You know, I think probably the most memorable and exciting moment was uh, I was doing a cruise of the sub-Antarctic islands in New Zealand, um, which was one of my favorite trips I have ever done. It's uh, it's kind of got everything you want. It's I like boats, and it's it's a remote boat trip, 17 or 18 days, cruising through islands where you see hardly anybody else, maybe a couple researchers, maybe one other boat, if if that. Uh, we were getting close um, to the Chatham Islands, um, and I knew that we wanted to keep an eye open for the magenta petrel. Now, the magenta petrel is not magenta. It is uh, actually a brown and white uh, uh, petrel. But I'm a seabird fan. I'm a seabird fanatic. And this, I knew, is a super rare bird. I think there's less than 100 of them in the world. And I wasn't leaving the deck until I, I knew we were through the waters where the highest chances were. Breakfast happened one morning as we were getting close to the Chathams. I saw this bird sail up, arc up over the horizon. I thought, man, this one has a chance. Almost everybody had gone to breakfast, but a few of my folks, uh, and there was another gr group on board that had a couple folks, and it made one more arc up, and I called it out, and it was a magenta petrel, and my brain exploded. I, I snapped a couple shots. <laughs> I like I ran to the PA, you know, because I knew this thing was probably just going to cruise right on by. Ran to the PA. <laughs> on the way to the PA, wiped out totally. Fell right on my <laughs> rear end. Luckily, <laughs> saved the camera. Uh, the camera was undamaged. I was lucky on that. Called it out over the PA. The boat emptied out. Uh, just a few folks got to see it because it really just shot by. But that was a really thrilling bird to see. Sort of one of those, if you're a seabird geek like I am, that was a mega I really wanted to get. And it was it was a thrill. That sounds like an amazing experience. Um, and, and Rich, say, same for you. What um, Does any particular memory of, of, of birding stand out from one of your tours? Um, I, I do have one. Um, when I first started working in this industry and, you know, we would, we were doing a trip up in the Bering Sea and a lot of it by Zodiac boats. And we're at a place called Little Diomede, which is American, but right next to it is Big Diomede, which is Russian. You can see the two. It's basically where the date line goes in between. Uh, it's where Sarah Palin ev evidently could see Russia from uh, the United States, if you remember <laughs> that quote. Um, and so we're at Little Diomede, which has just thousands of least auklets and crested auklets nesting there. And from there, after the, the morning there, we were going to head into Russia and go to a place called Providenia, where we had to clear into, into Russia. And on the way, if you drew a straight line from Little Diomede towards Providenia, you'd go right off the tip of uh, Big Diomede, where there often it was a haul out of wal uh, walruses. Um, but the Russian authorities said, by no means are you to go anywhere near Big Diomede. It's a military spot. You have to do this loop around. So... We got everybody ashore. We're about halfway through the landing, and I get a, a call from the uh, the captain and the expedition leader to come up to the bridge. So I go up there, and they said, we have a, a, a mission for you. And I'm this is literally probably my first season up there. <laughs> and they're like, um, we do want to go see those those walruses, but we're not going to take the risk unless they're there. And we need a guinea pig to go find, go <laughs> take a look and see if they're there, you know? So I said, I'm, I'm your man. I'm happy to do it. So I had my new GPS, which back then was probably about this big, you know, uh, and they gave me the coordinates and it was foggy as, as, as could be. And I'm just zooming through the fog. And I just remember the, the least auklets and crested auklets just swarming all around for what seemed like a long time as I'm breaking into Russia. And finally <laughs> I could see the, I could see the land start to, to show itself and I could see the walruses and I turned around and I, and I went right back. But I remember thinking, wow, I just, I just broke into into the future as well, as well as into Russia. <laughs> well, that's a Birder Show exclusive there for anybody watching, Rich, just <laughs> Actually, to we, break into Russia. We better delete that. I don't want to get myself <laughs> thrown in, Russian, in a Russian jail. 